Hello guys, in this tutorial we are going to start our one signal series. So this will be our part one. In part one what we will be doing is we will be setting up one signal in readiness for implementation in our app. So let's begin. You can do this on your phone or on your laptop or a computer. Just open your browser. In your browser, let's go to one signal website. One signal.com. The thing we want to do here is log in. Just avoid the setup even though you are a new user. We'll hit login, then we'll choose to sign in with Google it's faster okay just choose google login select your account okay once you are logged in you are going to click on new app or website here the steps are add the name of your app since we are setting up for our android app let's call this um, demo then the platform you are going to use this app for you are going to choose Google Android with Firebase Cloud Messaging then configure your platform then here we are going to need our Firebase server key and our Firebase sender key so just click on this to open it in a new tab this takes us to our firebase console or you can do it manually by going to your firebase console in our firebase console you are going to go to the project that you want to add your one signal in let me just choose one of these projects already made but if you don't have any project yet you can just add a project there so to find our firebase sender key and the uh, server key we go to settings project settings then choose cloud messaging here we will see our server key and our sender id key this is a sender key so you, you want to copy this as your server key go back to one signal paste the server key there copy the sender key and paste it there as well so once you have those two the server key and the sender id <laughs> you can save and continue then here we have to choose native android we are selecting our target SDK choose native android go down save and continue ok so we are done our app id is here you will need this if you want you can copy it and save it somewhere because you need it when implementing the logic in your app then just hit done okay so we are done with setting up the project on our website in one signal the rest will be done in our app project before we close you can still find your keys and IDs if you never copied here 
on keys and IDs. So your key, your app ID will be there, and your REST key will be here. So when implementing in our app, we we'll only need the one signal app ID. <coughs> These should be kept private, especially the REST key. Because once somebody has access to this, they can manipulate your own signal, and you don't want that to happen. Yes, so I'm just showing you these uh, for the sake of this tutorial. So that's all for part one. In part two, we'll be looking on how to implement in our app.